Freddy. Staric peppered the regulars with his own men and took several guards hostage. Your weapons are in there. to tell the difference. Oh, ye of little faith. What's it? to find the real royal guards. Ooh, dancing. And with Staric, no less. How awkward that must be. Oh! <laughs> 
Hold still for a moment. The key to the woods is one must lead with one's right foot. Oh, oh my! Everything all right, my dear? Do you require assistance? I never liked balls. <laughs> Here, the location of the vault. Go! Just like that? No plan? No time for plans. I'll catch up as soon as I'm rid of this infernal contraption. Doing? Exploiting. I warn you, my boy. But you do not listen. Requiem's cart and pache.
Let me rectify my mistake. London will perish without me. You flatter yourself. I would have created a paradise. The city belongs to the people. You are but one man. I am at the very top of the order. You were, Mr. Starrick. <laughs> you were. Shame we won't be partners anymore. It's for the best, isn't it? Are you gonna wear the shroud and run London? Whatever it gives, it takes from someone else. You'd continue to age without me. You'd become like father. A fate worse than death. Will you wear it? After you sorted out the boroughs, the chaos I caused, I couldn't compete. Jacob Fry is stepping back. Who's blackmailing you? Is it George? He wouldn't dare. I've missed you. Me too. Would it be possible to continue where we left off? I'd love nothing more. I'm starting to think Father didn't know everything about everything. <laughs> Henry. Uh. 
It's a big world out there. With London in the center. Perhaps not the very center. I came as soon as I could. Do not worry. I'll... I'll head back to the train. Did I... Did I jeopardize the mission? Henry, you saved it. I think you belong in the field. With me. A carriage. Nicely done, Freddy. Mr. Abilene, please. Your Majesty. Miss Fry. You've met before? Did I never mention? Mr. Abilene informs me that you three are responsible for saving my life. Is this true? It is, Your Majesty. Evie Fry, step forward. And you? My brother, ma'am. Jacob Fry. And this is Mr. Henry Green. Mr. Fry? Mr. Green? Neil? I invest you all in the Order of the Sacred Garter. Thank you, Your Majesty. If you are as adept as Mr. Abilene implies, I may call on you. Sergeant Abilene tends to exaggerate, Your Majesty. We shall meet again. And Miss Fry? Ma'am? Should you want it? I saved you some cake. Father would be proud of you. <laughs> Dame Evie Fry. <laughs> Sir Jacob Fry. <laughs> Race you to the train. You're on. That's it. It's under the palace. Time to go. Let's get the shroud to Dr. Grammatica immediately. Sigma team beat us here. We're too late. What do we do? Killing really is the least productive way to achieve our goals. Kill them all. Underground, leave them underground. Contact! Cover me! That skinny piece of shit tried to murder me, Berg. I want him them to bleed. Whispered dreams that poison us, them that told us lies of their bravery, them that preached of progress and put us in the poor house. <laughs> Them done the horrid murder on bloody stages and that loudly crowed their humility, lords and ladies and sung in the chapels on a summer. All quiet now, their mouths are stopped up 
Hold still, goddammit! Only the mission matters! Understood! Those who fought Sean! for something better Those who fought by how they live Loved ones taken long before this world Galena, we need an exit! We need to go now. Understood. Shroud. Forget the bloody shroud. Stay with me, Bex. Please. We go. Good work in there, Initiate. In time, we will recover the Shroud. And hey, we pulled a feed from our bug in Isabel's computer before they shut us out. Playing it now. Sorry about the mess. <laughs> so, how's the Shroud gonna help you create a new clone? It's not... When the shroud is wrapped around the body, it scans it for damage and then reconstructs it on a cellular level. You're now making a clone. You're gonna recreate a precursor from scratch. Bingo! The Phoenix Project timetable just got accelerated big time. I'm going to call Alan Rick and deliver the good news. <laughs> it's like Christmas! <laughs> Hello? It's me? Brought the shroud as you asked, but... I'm scared. Do not fear me. You've done well. I'm not scared of you. I'm scared for you. Anyone finds out what you've been doing. You have played your part, my instrument. I will save you. I will save you all. My newly honored friends. Your Majesty. We understand that with Crawford Staric gone, a certain secret society finds itself searching for leadership. An upstart faction seeks to enter London and seize power. Do you feel your life is in danger, ma'am? No. Rather, I fear that the people of this grand city may suffer. I call upon you to foil this traitorous plot. You can depend on us. We will meet my loyal aide at the docks for instructions. Your work begins immediately. I am Alfred Fleming. I run Her Majesty's Secret Service. Walk on, girl. Oh. Yeah.
My agents are here, disguised as civilians. Get them into position for our ambush. A ship will soon arrive from Boston. Its cargo, dynamite. Its crew, Templar. What say you to greeting it with an ambush? I'd say we're going to be very good friends. Here. That's their leader. I want him brought to me at the station, alive. I don't suppose you'd care to confess. Go to hell! Fair enough. Steric may be dead and gone, but the Templar Order will never die. We will rise again, Who's like a in? phoenix from the ashes, and bring the world to its knees. What's that? Not exactly funny. Grandmaster material, are you? Thank you. I'll carry on from here. My people are recovering their explosive cargo. You did fine work today. I will have a chat with our distinguished guest here to see what schemes he and his friends are brewing. Do get in touch when he spills his guts. Of course. Mr. Fleming has attempted to force a confession from your prisoner. The miscreant refuses to talk. Will you speak to the villain and learn his secrets?
suppose you'd like to spare yourself a tremendous beating and make a clean breast of it. Might as well. I did not expect you to confess. Which train? It's the next train. It should leave at any moment. lamented husband adored these gardens he called them his one safe port in the midst of the mad seas of this world we miss him dearly but never mind all that to the rest of the group. away from the civilians. I'll deal with the Templar later. Steady on. Yeah! Yeah! 
final group of upstarts are making their last desperate stand. They have penetrated the Houses of Parliament and plan to detonate whatever explosives they have left. Multiple targets inside the palace, all armed and dangerous. Making matters worse, the Prime Minister has gone missing. I need you to deal with the Well done. But there are still more bombers about. That bloody fry boy is in a
Mr. Fleming, I've located the Prime Minister. Not another step, assassin. You've lost, don't you see? The Houses of Parliament are rigged to explode at the last stroke of 12. There's nothing you or anyone else can do to stop it now. The Houses of Parliament will be leveled. Centuries of history are... Find those bombs before they go off! Thank you, my young friend. Now, please come with me. You and your sibling have been summoned. Approach. You have honored us with your loyalty and courage. Long may we strengthen the Empire together. Your Majesty, we will always work to ensure the safety of the people. But with the greatest respect, our philosophy forbids us from assisting with the expansion of the Empire. Perhaps, ma'am, you could consider putting an end to your imperialist desires. I understand and respect your position. Bound as you are by your creed, you will indulge me one final time and receive these gifts. Goodbye, and may God bless the noble fries. I suppose you'll be offered any more cake. 